Hi, my name is Miriam Feitek. You can see a picture of me here. I wanted to introduce myself. I have a master's degree in mental health counseling and I offer a free consultation for high achieving women to optimize their dating life. So on to today's video. Shane Dawson has a superpower. Eugenia Cooney could not help but open up to him, sometimes showing sadness, expressing joy, and showing the most vulnerable parts of herself. This ability made Shane top of the trending list since yesterday with over 21.7 million views, 1.6 million likes, and only 27,000 dislikes. In this video, we will explore how and why Shane was able to have a meaningful conversation with Eugenia Cooney about her recovery. You might be wondering why a relationship coach like me would use a platonic interaction to describe how to better connect with a romantic interest. But the ability to connect to others is necessary to forge and maintain both friendships and romantic connections. Shane Dawson was able to connect to Eugenia by setting the stage to connect, using words of affirmation, and exploring what moves Eugenia emotionally. Shane sets the stage to connect by prioritizing her comfort over his own benefit. He does this by conducting the interview at her home, where she is most comfortable filming videos, thus giving her a home field advantage. Shane also makes a point to ask for permission before asking personal questions. He does this more than once to maintain consent throughout the interview. Shane has this interesting tactic where he matches the depth of questions to the setting of the room. He begins the interview with light questions as they move from the hallway to the bathroom to the backyard. When he gets to the backyard, he has a chance to ask more intense questions since they are seated face to face. However, he saves the most personal questions for her bedroom. They sit adjacent to one another without any table blocking them, giving them more opportunities to be open. Shane also gives Eugenia the opportunity to look away if she feels uncomfortable when they're not sitting face to face. An important element here is that because they're sitting on the same level, there's a show of equality and not like he is better than her in any way. So Shane's go-to method of connection is words of affirmation from the five love languages. He gives her compliments, actively listens, and empathizes, which immediately lowers the sense of separation between Shane and Eugenia. To demonstrate how often Shane compliments Eugenia, I created a compliment counter. Listen to how many words of affirmation he offers to Eugenia. Oh, thank you. This is like, I feel like I'm in Disney World. Whoa, whoa. This, your whole house is like a crazy, like, dollhouse, like, Movies. Oh, this is so cute. Thank you. I feel like I'm on a Disney sitcom. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Whoa, this is where you sat and you were just like being so nice to mean people. <laughs> How are you so nice? I feel like you know when the people are being so mean to you, you were just so nice back. I'm pretty nice, but I mean, I I would pop off. Well, I don't know. You're so nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, your hair looks so good. Because oh. I feel like you, you kind of always have a smile. So I'm like trying to like put myself and see what it was, and I feel like it. I love you. Oh, okay. I love you too. That was so great. I Thank love you. Thank you. I am very proud of you. Thank you. He also shows connection through active listening. Eye contact is the foundation of active listening. It shows that he's present and focusing on what she says without the distraction of his phone. This elevates the conversation to a higher quality. Shane is comfortable with strong, prolonged eye contact and intimacy. You can also see him using concentrated facial expression with furrowing of his brow and squinting his eyes to show her that he's actively listening to what she's saying. This is the result of what happens when he is truly present and trying to understand her. It is not something he can fake. When you're receiving somebody's full attention, it feels incredible and it makes you want to connect to the other person more. Look how present he appears when he's listening to Eugenia showing her how she truly has his full attention. Shane also gives Eugenia space to answer without interruption. This shows that he's listening and interested in her responses. Because the intensity of Shane's full focus, Eugenia feels like he gets her and is connected to him like they share a common understanding. 
Shane's powerful ability to connect stems from his empathy. When Eugenia gets emotionally real, Shane often doesn't try to diffuse the tension. He leans into it and expresses himself fully by showing emotional facial responses. This can be very challenging since our first instinct might be to encourage her to stop, especially if it doesn't fit with his current mood. Sometimes Shane was not successful at keeping himself from trying to diffuse the tension and used humor to lighten the mood. Well, I guess they're almost like expecting you to and they're kind of like expecting you to like come back and just like, yeah, basically. Which um, I guess that's kind of like, you know, awkward. <laughs> Like people just like expecting all of that. <laughs> but um <laughs> Yeah, so However, he quickly went back to the emotion when they looked more comfortable. Shane encouraged her to open up and validated her when she did. He was empathetic enough to go there emotionally with her and shared in her joy and her pain. What makes Shane truly exceptional at connecting? is his fascination with what moves Eugenia emotionally. Shane initially used small talk to help build rapport, but he did not use small talk for most of the interview. Instead, he focused on topics related to hardship, family, and the things that we normally are afraid of speaking about because of how vulnerable and emotional they make us. However, they are the things that often define who we are. But I would definitely like, like to help people like, if I'm like, able to a little bit, but yeah. I guess I'm not like the expert, but <laughs> I love you. Oh, okay. I love you too. That was so great. I Thank love Thank you. you oh. well, Shane makes sure to ask open ended questions. What do you do? What do you like having fun with? So, like we were talking about, I, I like makeup a lot and stuff like that. He doesn't ask yes or no questions, he asks Eugenia to explore certain parts of her experience. Eugenia felt comfortable enough to be vulnerable and open up because he went there too. He revealed how he suffered from an eating disorder as well. Okay, so I'll speak on my experience because okay. I don't want to put words in your mouth. I always knew that I had a disorder. I always was very self-aware and I was always very like, I know this is bad. I know I shouldn't be doing this. I feel guilty. I feel embarrassed. Like when I would be you know, throwing up in the bathroom, I, I mean, I was doing it with like friends in the other room and I was like hiding it and trying to whatever. It's a like, very, like, very shameful thing. And, Took me a long time to even talk about it. Uh, it was his openness that paved the way for her to do the same. This ability to get to her emotional core made this video so popular. You can apply what you've learned from Shane to get people to open up to a deep connection that will bond you to for a long time. If you want to connect with someone deeply past the surface level small talk and get them to remember you, you have to get fascinated with what moves them emotionally. Focus on building connection through words of affirmation and be willing to open yourself up so they're willing to do the same with you. That is what endeared Shane to his viewers. Follow the advice in this video and you can have that too. So that's all for this week's video. Again, my name is Miriam Feintuck. I'm a dating coach and I offer a free consultation for high achieving women to optimize their dating life. You can check out my website in the description below. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next Monday. Bye!